Let's evaluate the following limit together. The limit as x goes to 0 of e to the x minus x minus 1 all over 3x squared. So to evaluate any limit, it's often helpful um, just to start by plugging in uh, the value you're going to um, and see what form you get um, for your limit. So for example, if I plug in 0, okay, so we're going to check the form by plugging in x equals 0. And if we do that, I'm going to get e to the 0 minus 0 minus 1 over 3 times 0 squared. Now e to the 0 um, is 1. So this ends up being 1 minus 1 over 0, so 0 over 0. So I see that I get the form of 0 over 0. Now 0 over 0 is an indeterminate form um, that tells me I have to do some more algebra or some more work of some sort uh, to figure out the answer to the limit. And now in the past when we've come across these indeterminate forms, um, we've done things like factoring or maybe multiplying by the conjugate or finding a common denominator, all sorts of different algebraic tricks to rewrite the limit. Um, and now we've learned a new method for dealing with the form 0 over 0 and we're going to practice using that method in this example and that's called L'Hopital's rule. Um, and what this rule tells us is that if we have a form like this, uh, if we get 0 over 0 for our limit, um, then what we can do is rewrite the problem. So this is equivalent to the limit um, as x goes to 0 of the derivative of the top over the derivative on the bottom, like this. Okay, um, <clears throat> so just be really careful. You're, you're not taking the derivative of this function, right? We're not going to use a quotient rule. Rather, L'Hopital's rule tells us we take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom separately. Okay, so let's actually compute those derivatives then. Um, so if I'm looking at the top there, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and then I'm going to get minus 1, um, and then minus 0. And then on the bottom, if I take that derivative, I am going to get 6x. Okay, so this uh, limit is going to be equivalent to the limit I started out with. So now let's check this out and see, you know, if we get a number or if we still get some sort of form. Um, so what if I plug in 0? Well, I'm going to get e to the 0 minus 1 over 6 times 0. So that still gives me the form 0 over 0. Okay, um, but that's okay. You can use L'Hopital's rule more than one time, and often that's what you have to do. So let's just use L'Hopital's rule again and see what happens. So once again, L'Hopital's rule tells me that this is equivalent to the limit um, if I take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. Okay, and if I actually compute those limits, on the top I'm going to get e to the x, and on the bottom, I'm going to get 6. Okay, so now what happens if I plug in 0? Well, if I plug in 0 now, I no longer get an indeterminate form. I just get a number, right? e to the 0 is 1, and then I have 6. So I finally found the answer to this limit, which is 1 sixth. Um, so this is how you use L'Hopital's rule. Uh, it's a very useful rule uh, to help us compute limits with indeterminate forms.